like to thank the chamber for hosting this event again this year. Uh, my name is David Jensen. I'm the current municipal judge for the village of Fontana. I'd like to uh, explain a little bit about how municipal courts work in Wisconsin and what they are because I, I think they're misunderstood. Wisconsin has approximately 253 municipal courts throughout the state. Obviously the largest court is in the city of Milwaukee where they handle thousands of citations every month. There are smaller courts up in the northern part of the state that uh, sometimes don't even handle 100 cases in a year. Fontana handles about 700 cases a year. Out of the 250 some municipal courts, the breakdown is almost 50-50 between judges who are attorneys and judges who are not attorneys. Municipal judges handle more cases per year than do the circuit courts, the appellate courts, and the Supreme Court combined. Uh, I believe the count in the last few years has been around 700,000 cases a year. The, uh, the state legislature has, has always de determined that municipal courts, as I said, do not need to be attorneys. And uh, the, and I think the point of that is to be fair, open-minded, and uh, exhibit some common sense does not require an attorney. There are uh, ongoing education courses provided to, circuit, to municipal court judges offered through the Wisconsin Supreme Court and their Office of Judicial Education. They offer several cases throughout the year. Uh, judges are required to attend one per year. Uh, I've always tried to do at least two a year because I, I was new to this when I got into it four years ago. The, the last seminar I attended was last week in Milwaukee, and one of the best things they do is they, they have sessions on new laws and new cases. And this one was particularly good because the, there was time spent on the new Wisconsin concealed carry law, which still has a lot of confusion with it. Municipal courts handle primarily civil, uh, civil complaints, traffic tickets, municipal ordinance violations. Uh, I think about the most serious thing we do is first offense drunk, drunk driving because that is a civil, uh, civil matter. It is not crimin criminal in Wisconsin. My, my real job, I've owned an insurance agency for 20 some years, and I can tell you that I'd much rather be a judge than sell insurance. So, I thank you. Wilson, and I too am a candidate for municipal judge in Montana. I'm 63 years old. I've lived in Fontana for 20 years. I have two grown stepchildren. Uh, by way of background, uh, I have degrees from Washington University in St. Louis and a law degree from John Marshall Law School in Chicago. I've been a practicing attorney in both Wisconsin and Illinois. Stick it up my nose. Yep. <laughs> I usually don't have trouble being heard in courtrooms. Uh, a practicing attorney in both Wisconsin and Illinois for the last 23 years. I was previously from 1991 until 2008 Montana's municipal judge. 
I'm asking that you uh, re-elect me to that position. I enjoy it. I think I'm good at it. And what I have, what I can bring to the office that my opponent can't is uh, 23 years of experience with rules of evidence. Much of what a judge, any judge, does is apply rules of evidence to fact patterns that are often in dispute. And what that does is it decides what evidence ultimately uh, is before the judge or the jury, although we don't have juries in municipal court for decision. I think I could do a better job of that than can my opponent. Um, judging is fun. It's a way to give back to my community. I've always looked on it as community service. I have training and skills that not every citizen has, and it's the best way that I can give back to my community. And I ask you to return me to that position in April.